welcome back to my channel miss medicine today we will discuss about anemia like subscribe and share to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for more upcoming videos so let's start today's topic anemia what is anemia its definition Anemia is a condition in which you don't have enough healthy red blood cells to carry adequate oxygen to the body tissues or in another or in another way decrease or insufficiency of RBCs or hemoglobin in blood What are the symptoms of anemia symptoms are fatigue weakness pale or yellowish skin irregular heartbeats or arrhythmia shortness of breath or dyspnea dizziness or light headedness chest pain cold hands and feet and headache what are the causes of anemia causes first causes your blood doesn't make enough rbcs or red blood cells second bleeding causes you to lose red blood cells or rbc more quickly than they can be replaced loss of rbc third one is your body destroys rbcs another causes are like aplastic anemia iron deficiency anemia vitamin b12 deficiency anemia etc normal value of rbc or hematocrit level is 41% in males a normal level or volume of rbcs in female is 36% normal value of hemoglobin in males is 13.5 g per deciliter and in female 12 g per deciliter for further investigation we will check mcv mcv is mean corpuscular or mean cell volume normal value of mean cell volume is 80 to 100 if mcv value is less than 80 it means microcytic anemia and if mcv is more than or less than 100 it means macrocytic anemia microcytic anemia includes thal 
decimia. Anemia of chronic disease. Iron deficiency anemia. L4 lead poisoning. And S is sideroblastic anemia. You can remember these by tails. Next is macrocytic anemia. In macrocytic anemia, we will include reticulocytes, reticulocytosis, which also known as acute hemolysis. Second is alcoholism. Third is drugs like AZT or phenytoin. You can remember this by RAD. Macrocytic anemia includes megaloblastic anemia. In megaloblastic anemia, folic acid deficiency, macrocytosis plus hypersegmented neutrophils. And third one is vitamin B12 deficiency. You can remember these by FMV. FM, it's common, and FMV. After checking MCV or main cell volume, we will check or further investigation, we will check reticulocyte count. If reticulocyte count is less than 3%, it's known as normocytic anemia. If reticulocyte count is more than 3%, it's known as intravascular hemolysis or extravascular hemolysis. Normocytic anemia normally occur in bone marrow. It includes early stage of iron deficiency anemia, early stage of chronic disease. It includes aplastic anemia. it includes chronic renal failure. In intravascular hemolysis, we will see hemoglobinuria and decrease in hepatoglobin which is protein. In extravascular, which is in, in extravascular hemolysis, this is outside of the blood vessels. It includes jaundice, 
increase unconjugated bilirubin and it includes pigment stones intravascular hemolysis occur in many diseases like mycoplasma pneumonia aortic stenosis prosthetic walls DIC disseminated intravascular coagulation HUS hemolytic uremic syndrome T T P thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura and intravascular hemolysis occur in deficiency of enzyme which is G six P D which is pyruvate kinase deficiency pyruvate kinase deficiency and extravascular hemolysis occur in CLL which is chronic lymphocytic leukemia SLE Systemic lupus erythematus in sickle cell anemia, extravascular hemolysis occur also in hereditary spherocytosis, extravascular hemolysis occur in enzyme deficiency G6PD I hope it was helpful for you thank you for watching my video